All right, we got the big claw snapping <laughs> shrimp. There he is right here. And we're trying to find out what is the angular acceleration. So as he clamps down, he's got one big claw and one tiny claw. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, we're trying to figure out a number of different things. What is the angular acceleration? And so remember, this is uh, angular kinematics, if that makes sense. Or yeah, angular kinematics. And so what we know is that the W or the angular speed starts at zero. We assume that the claw is this in undergoes constant acceleration, but W1 is going to be zero. We do not know what W2 is after he accelerates because it starts at rest. We don't know that. So I'm trying to just write down what I know. Uh, I do know the time is 1.3 milliseconds, right? And I know that it's going to undergo 90 degrees of rotation. So that means that theta is 90 degrees, but in radians, we love radians, it's pi over 2 radians. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an equation to solve for the acceleration. If you recall, that's the, so this is going to be theta uh, 2 equals theta 1 plus w1t plus 1 half times oh, the, the acceleration is what we're trying to find. And the acceleration is the symbol alpha, alpha t squared. Well, it starts out at zero, right? And it goes to 90 degrees. So it finishes up at 90 degrees or pi over 2. And that's going to be plus zero times t because the uh, first thing, he's not moving, plus one half times alpha and then we know t is 1.3 milliseconds. Now, what's a note here? Let's do that. If I've got 1.3 milliseconds, I want to convert that to seconds. I would say there's a th one millisecond. No, 1,000 milliseconds is one second. And I get a, a much smaller number, 0.00013 seconds. And I have to square it. I... When I work with students, I often find they forget to square that. And I get alpha, and then I do some math here. I have to solve for alpha. I use a solver or do some algebra skills, and I get alpha to be 1.86 times 10 to the 6th. And that will be in um, radians per second squared. That's the angular acceleration. So that's the answer to A, if you will. What's the final angular speed of the claw? So the angular speed, what you could do is you can say that's W2. So we could use another angular equation. W2 equals W1 plus just AT or alpha T. Uh, it, this is 0 plus this number, 1.86 times 10 to the 6th times your time, 0 0.0013 seconds. And that gives you your final answer, which is 2416, and that's rads per second. So that is the angular speed. Angular speed is in radians per second. Angular accelerations is in radians per second squared. What is the tangential acceleration at the tip of the claw? On that one, I'm going to take my angular acceleration. Do over here, maybe. 1.86 e6 rads per second squared. And this is where I realize that there are two pi rads in one revolution, right? And then I can say one revolution will be, if it's a circle, right? It's going to be, um, it's going to be the circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi r. And they gave us the r, 1.5 centimeters over here. So that's 0 0.015 meters. And when you do all the math, you get, oh, that's a big number, 2,700 and 90 meters per second squared. And then the last question, how fast is the tip of the claw moving at the end of its motion? You're just going to convert the rads per second into meters per second. So 2416 rads per second, boom. And again, you're going to follow the same process over here. 2 pi rads is uh, one revolution. 
in one revolution is 2 pi times 0 0.015 meters. I don't know if you've caught this, but the 2 pi's here and here cancel, and they're going to cancel here. So you basically take 2416 times 0 0.015, and you get 36 meters per second.